remember whose channel you're on. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. We see tons Hello. of you here already. Glad. Oh, my phone went on. Okay. Glad you guys make it. Hello. Tori has to take an Instagram story. <laughs> Hello, Chrissy, you're already four books ahead, so you are yeah, flying. She's on books. Stone Princess, I think, right? Or did she finish that one? Oh, I don't remember. I just remember looking at her Instagram story. Hi, everybody. We're super excited. Oh, there are a lot of you here. I was just saying, is anybody going to come? <laughs> because I feel like it's such a specific live show for these two books. So I wasn't sure how many people were reading them or not. But I'm excited. So many of you are here. Her new book came out today, too, which I still have to read. Oh, I almost too. bought that. I almost bought Did it you? just to start it today. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I have to read L. Kennedy's yeah. first. And then I'll and then I'll read that one. Hello. Okay. Oh yeah, that's the fourth one. Oh. Okay. Hello. Hello. I'm sorry. I've started to take ads off of live shows because I think it makes people lag behind. So I, I thought I'd turn them off for this, but YouTube also adds them whenever they want to. So, oh, they just jumped. I finished book two this morning. <laughs> I started the audio this morning and finished it. Um, but because that they are on KU now, you can do the, um, what is it called? Audio? Yeah, whisper but like it's a word for it. Oh, whisper sync. Yes, whisper sync. I was like, it's not read and listen, it's something else. Yeah. Hello. I do. Oh, her new series. I was gonna say I like these covers a lot. Um, What's her new series? Just these. Oh, eat the okay. Eat the eat series. Okay. Yeah. I didn't realize that was her newest one. Yeah, because the third one just came out today. Oh, yeah, that's true. I like yeah. sometimes authors will write in different series, like multiple times, like. Oh, that's true. Happy. No, I think that's she just goes from series to series. I don't think she, like, jumps around. That makes sense. Hello. I did read this entirety yesterday. <laughs> I need to stop waiting until the last minute. <laughs> I read this whole thing yesterday, and I read book two on audio today. Welcome. Oh, which one is? Is Riven Night book two? I don't know the titles of these. Yeah, that's the book. I the second one. Monica, do you like it? I want to read. I is it? Garnet Falls. Is you pronounce that Garnet, right? I swear I thought it was Garrett. <laughs> <laughs> Garrett? <laughs> Maybe yeah. it's something about the text. Whenever I look at Garnet it, Garnet makes it's... sense because Garnet is like red. That's the like color. Okay. I just know someone whose name is Garnet. But... Oh, Garnet, I think it's like a jewel or a stone or something that's okay. red. But I always think it says Garnet Falls, but it's flats. Mm. That makes sense why the cover's red. Well, thank you for stopping by while you're working. Stone Princess is three? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The pink one. Okay. Well, welcome. I've heard this, but I feel like that would be very awkward. Haven't you tried it, Tori? Yeah. So, I, um, depending on the book, uh, if I'm really into it, I can use the Alexa cancel. I can use the Echo. I have one in my library. I can use the Echo to read to me, but I have to be really into it automatically. I can't just pick it up like I would an audiobook because then it doesn't, you know, there's no tone. In right, the right. It's like acting for yeah. audio, like yeah. they're actors. Um, I think that's interesting that you loved Indigo Ridge more than Juniper Hill because I feel like it's always the opposite. People really love Juniper Hill and not as much Indigo Ridge. And that's why I was skipping the first one to go to the second one. I like. I mean, I gave it four stars. I liked yeah. it. Yeah. But I, I liked Juniper Hill better. Okay. But I do. I love the color scheme of these because didn't you get the pink and the turquoise? You have them. Oh, the yellow one. Okay. But yeah, I think the, someone had said, or, oh yeah, the jewel tones. It's super, super pretty. And I do like, I don't know. I like skulls on the cover and I feel like the skull ones do encapsulate like the motorcycle, yeah. but these encapsulate the small town. So, oh, and it, it does have a motorcycle on it. Do the other ones have a motorcycle? Yeah. On the back. Oh, okay. That's the one that's used on the front of these. Yeah. And then they have, I don't know if it's the same silhouette. Oh yeah. That's different. And then. Oh, this one has just a wheel. Ooh, oh, interesting. 
And there's nothing on the back for this one, I don't think. Huh. Oh, I get, okay, so we'll, we were wondering if we would bring this up, so we will address this. Um, she changed it because the original wasn't the first one with the G word in the title? Yes. Yes, and so that is not a good word to use. She didn't change the actual word in the book, um, but she did change it on the covers, which um, I know some people weren't happy about. I was glad that she changed it because that is a word that we've seen in like a lot of historical romances to talk about that group of people. And we know that's not really a correct way to use that word anymore. So yeah, yes, someone else explained it. It was problematic, yes. Which I thought she changed the, the actual club name, but I know that would have taken a lot more work to do it, but she just changed the covers. But it is the name yeah. of their actual um motorcycle club yes so that's why there's two different ones and you might find different ones on goodreads yeah because i read the first book uh, on my kindle and it automatically connects to my goodreads and even though mm -hmm. i had the steel king kindle like through kindle unlimited it came up as the old title on goodreads like it, mm -hmm. it like connects it i don't know why but then if you click it it says steel king it's very mm -hmm. yeah I mean, it's just a different vibe you like based on the cover styles, too, because, like I said, the skulls really are, like, MC romance, which I forgot how MC this was, because I've read this in back when it was coming out. Um, was that 2018? 2019 is when I read this the first time, and I didn't remember it being so MC heavy, and I feel like those are the only two series we've done a read-along for are just motorcycle romances. <laughs> just keep on seeing with it. It is hard, though, if you, like, start buying a book series by an author and then they change the covers. You're like, well, now I have to finish it unless I want to, like, rebuy the ones I already own and finish it. Yeah. Unless you're okay with having mismatched covers, which I'm not. I do want, like, the full all six books now. I should have just bought them when I saw it. That would have been a lot, buying her all six books at once, though. Yes. I think I, I'd just never do that with series. I do want the second book because I think the second book's pretty. Yes. I want the pink one because it's. Do you pink. have the second one? No, I just have the first one. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. So I didn't know. I think we were talking about this before. Garnet Falls. Um, mm -hmm. he's an MMA fighter. Flats, right? <laughs> Flats. Yes, I keep on saying falls. Garnet Flats is MMA fighter. Yeah. So I'm really excited to read that. Hang on. Hang on. I'm gonna mess up. Um. Okay. Yeah, I do think that this isn't as, like, I guess it is small town, but it definitely centers more around the MC and the romantic, I don't know what you call this romantic suspense, more, like, thriller. I wouldn't say, like, romantic suspense. Mm. I mean, she doesn't get kidnapped. Uh, but do you, but, okay, so Catherine Cowles, would you say, like. Mm, small town with like a little bit of suspense because like yeah. every Catherine Cowles book ends but I feel like every Devony Perry now ends in a kidnapping too so well I guess she wasn't kidnapped in book two but she like had to face I will in book two she wasn't kidnapped she was kidnapped in book one yes there went a book two yeah oh romantic suspense light <laughs> yes um let us know what you rated uh each of the books which I don't even know because I just finished them but I'll think about it Mm, yeah. Can I see mine? Go ahead. Oh, I gave both of them four stars. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I do think people are enjoying it. I haven't seen anybody say they hated the books. So. I do. I do think they pick up, um, like, she does a really good job of setting up at the end of each book to make you want to pick up the third, like the next book. Does that make sense? Well, whose book, like, did she set stuff up at the end of book two? Yes. For Presley. Yeah. Like with her wedding. Is book two going to be in the future? Book three. That's what I meant. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's like, okay. like I think three, it's years later. three years later. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Which also, do you think that, and I don't know, maybe I'm just like looking into it because of Gianna Darling, but do you think Draven's actually dead? Um, no. Okay. Because they brushed over that way too quickly, and I was like, there's no way. Because there's no – can I say that? There's no body? But they said that um, Dash found him. Oh, you know, but we never actually got his point of view. 
No. So I'm like, is Dash covering for it and saying he found him? Good I don't question. think he did. I was like, there's no way. It happened like so fast and then it was like over and I'm like, mm, but. I should have messaged Zay because I was messaging her. She said she really loved the series. I need to message her. Maybe she'll tell me. <laughs> oh, Christy, you gave them three and a half and three? Cheryl liked five, book two better. Which I don't know which one. I, I think that romance in book two I liked better. Because this was very much like, I hate you, but I'm going to rip off your clothes. And I'm like, okay. like. And they did the thing that I hate where it's like, I knew I could never trust you. And they both did that to each other. And I'm like, but you can. And then there was that trope. Okay, that I didn't mind that because the pregnancy trope. Because it happened like near the end. And he didn't. I think it was like for a second. She was like, well, don't marry me because of the baby. And I'm like, but. Did you not like it? No. That's why. Because it was a four and a half star for me. And then I dropped it to four. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Okay. But I love that I've read Lark Cove and. um, It's the Outpost. Because Tragic is my favorite book in the series so far. In the Lark Cove series. And it's his brother. And I didn't get it until it's um, Isaiah. Is that his name? Isaiah's yeah. brother? Yeah, because in Tragic, he's all mad and grumpy and broody because his girlfriend died, but, like, she wasn't his girlfriend anymore, but he figured out that his girlfriend was seeing his brother in the car accident when she died with his baby, and then all of a sudden we're like, oh my god, but it's Isaiah, he's the one who was in love with his girlfriend, and I'm like, oh my gosh. It's like, so oh, did, did you piece it together in book two, like, quicker? I pieced it together, like, when, well, I think someone told me, actually. Oh. Okay. Someone I forget who told me. Someone on Instagram told me. And I was like, oh, okay. But then like forgot about it. And then he was like explaining the situation to um the heroine. And I was like, oh my gosh, yes, it's him. And then they kept on dropping like Lark Cove and they kept on talking about it. And then I feel like someone else was related to someone and I don't remember. There who was it. um Dash's brother, Nick. Does yes. he have his own story? Yeah, right? Because you said that the girl in the first book interviewed that journalist. In another series. And that journalist. Scroll down. I, oh my gosh. I'm so far behind on comments. Hold okay. On. okay. <laughs> um, does it, I don't know if anybody's going to say something. I wasn't paying attention. Okay. So which which book is Nick's? Nick is Dash's brother. But I don't think he's in the Lark Cove series. I thought he was part of it. Different... Is he in Jameson Valley? I don't know. Anything. I don't know character names. Oh. Because they so, mentioned Lark Cove and that yeah. Kane was from Lark Cove. And so it was, I, well, as Isaiah was, like, talking about it. And I was like, okay, I do know that's one of her series. Yeah, someone said, yeah, James. Which one? Is he the one in the Outpost? Because the Outpost was, like, my absolute favorite. Oh, wait, I have it right here. I was like, didn't you just get it from someone? I just got it in the mail. Someone sent it to me, which I don't remember. What does the back say? Um, no, his name's Bo. His book is Cloverleaf Chapel. Oh, oh, yes. I didn't <laughs> like that one. But yes, because he met her and they got married in Vegas and then they like didn't see each other again for years. And then isn't that that one? I don't know. I haven't read that. I don't know. I mix up the, the Catherine Cal series and the, <laughs> the Devin <laughs> Perry series because they're I read them at the same time, like one after the other and switch on switching. Is that the one where they got married? And then didn't see each other for a while. Oh, that's right. Okay. Now, okay. I'm, I promise I'm going to go back to your guys' readings in a second. Um, we met <laughs> Bryce when she interviewed the girl in the outpost. Because in the outpost, she was an investigative journalist. And she won yes. an award. And she was hiding yes. out. And I remember saying, oh, my gosh, it's Bryce. Because I had read this first. Like, this was one of my first Ebony Perry books that I read. Yes. They're just, like, little treats. That, like, if you read everything, you're like, oh, that's this person, this, this, yeah. And that's what I, I do like about exploring a new author and, like, putting the pieces together. Because I felt like I did that with Gianna when I read Antiheroes. And then I went back yes, and Yes, it's all of hers. Yes. Yeah. And then I was like, well, I already read The Fallen Men. And then I started with that, so. I will say, I do not like the Jameson Valley series until The Outpost. Like, the first three books I gave three stars but then I love well, like not, Outpost is five star that's not a bad rating 
That's I know we need a map show. of everything. Okay, I'm gonna <laughs> scroll back now to everybody's. Hey, uh, uh, Christy, I know you just did your uh, Lorraine Heath guide. Can you do one for Debbie Perry? <laughs> Debbie Perry guide, <laughs> please. <laughs> to tell us how everyone's. But then it's like I forget character names, and I'm like, wait, who was this? Was this person here? Yeah. Okay, okay I think so it is a consensus though that book two. Oh, I don't know. Amanda gave book two less star rating. But I think most I, people are saying they liked book two better. Yeah, I do have some things with, like, both books that, like, why I couldn't give it four and a half stars. I do have a question. These covers, oh, my gosh, can you see them? Yeah. Are those her original or are those the special yeah. edition? Yeah, the special edition are the watercolor ones, these. Which I actually really like the cover for both for the Outpost, but I just really love the watercolor. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, I just need to explore, and then I'm going to add them all to my wish list. <laughs> oh, okay. Because I, I think just, like, the ending of book one where, like, they were getting mad at each other, and he's like, well, you were only with me for the story. And she's like, well, you were only with me. I forget even the reason why she said he was only with her. And I was like, okay, like, you know that's not true. You're just mad at each other. So, yeah. True. But I think, like, the romance was just so sweet. And I love a marriage of convenience where they're like, haven't done anything together before. So she's like, he held my hand. And then, oh my gosh, I remember. So I went and ran errands this morning. So I was like shopping in Kohl's, right? And it was that scene where she was like, you always like flinch when you kiss me and grimace. And he's like, what are you talking about? She's like, I'll show you. And then so she kisses him and he does, but he's like, it's because I'm holding myself back. And then he just like lays one on her. And I was just like, yes, I love that so much. Yeah, I was I was a little nervous for the second one because of how slow burn it was. And I was like, I mean, I liked it, don't get me wrong. But at the same time, I was like, I don't feel that they developed, like, romantic relationshipness. You know what I mean? Like, it was yeah. just that friend's energy. But it slowly, like, when he started to open up, it started yeah. to, like, really come together. So I, I did like that part of it. But it made yeah. sense of why it wasn't as spicy because, like, it can't be. Do you know what I mean? Like, right. Well, this one, I was surprised. They were jumping in super quick in this one. Yeah. Which I feel like is not normal for the books I've read by her. She's very much like a slower burn author. So, or when it's not slow burn, like this one where they were hooking up, it's fade to black until like it means something and then we get it. So like we didn't have an actual on page scene till like halfway through the book in here. So okay um I do think like it's a lot more like focus on the plot and the mystery and like the family dynamics yeah yeah but like I feel like the whole reason why the MC disbanded was kind of anticlimactic because it was like oh they just wanted a different life I'm like oh I'm like okay. I need this motorcycle club to become a motorcycle club again right <laughs> but now it's never going to because like it's just hurt so many people in their lives so like their mom oh yeah oh man I that that actually like made me mad like I was mad at Draven I was like how dare you Zay you're teasing us I know <laughs> you know they like, ha -ha, you guys sound so stupid <laughs> they like they brushed over that death so quickly but even like the three year later flashback they were like oh he's was never there but i was like he's hiding out he has to be there's no way I, there's no way he would have i i knew something was coming i knew he was gonna try because the way yeah. he said like he was talking about things yeah i was like okay so he's gonna pull some some stuff that's gonna be like Maybe he'll go miss. Okay, so I didn't think he would really, like, kill himself. But, like, that's why I think he set it up. There's no way. I don't know. I do think they had a really good connection in book one. Oh, yeah. I love that. And, like, when he called the cop, That's a scene I actually remembered from the first time I read reading. When they broke into the library and he called the cops on her. So she's like, I had to get my mugshot taken and my fingerprints taken. That was so funny to me. That was yeah. hilarious to me. Yeah. But I also, like, it was annoying oh, because, like, how so much funny. chemistry they had, right? But at the end of the book, yeah. they did that, like, little fight thing of, you know what I mean? Like, the miscommunication yeah. thing. Like, it didn't make sense. I'm like, you have this, like, intense connection in chemistry, and yet you let this kind of problem, like, get in the way? 
What? Yeah. Um, this was interesting because they they dragged this out through the two books, so you didn't have satisfaction of who was behind it. Yeah. But then also, I feel like he was such a minor character in book one that I was like a little bit annoyed because I was like, we wouldn't even have guessed him. Yeah, I didn't see that coming at all. Only when at the end of book two, when he started talking about Draven, and I was like, ooh, wait, you. Yeah, really but that was like him. our only hint. There was no other yeah. hint that it could have been him until then. So in book one, I would have never guessed it was him. Yeah, it didn't work for me. I hated it. But well, that was the only mystery, right? Like, that's done. So we're moving on. Or is there still um, mystery? Or the drug well, you guy? Have the whole, you have the whole thing of um, the other MC. What Does about them? Sense? That they know who started the fire and, like, all of that stuff. Because the guy delivered the envelope. Yeah. So he knows, like, what really happened. I feel like they're going to come back and do something. Oh, and try to, like. Because I feel like he was, he had to do something with Draven. Okay. Does that make sense? What, Draven? Draven's dead. Yeah, but I feel like the head of the other MC, what does his name yeah. start with? The T. But I thought that like that was all resolved because that was like Draven paid with his life. So now they're like, okay, cool, we're done. We're cool, yeah, no, we're I done. don't think I I think that You think they're not done? Yeah, no, I don't think they're done. Zay, please tell me if I'm right or not. <laughs> She's probably like laughing. Okay, I'm really far behind on comments. I'm gonna try to get ahead of here. Okay. okay. Uh this is impressive, but I think I'm close to that too. Really? Well, I had to finish the series. So I have what four books in the series. I have one in the each of the other two. Oh. And then I read the birthday list. And then I just oh I read the Mason Jar. I read one. Maybe I read both of those. I don't remember. There's I a have, couple like, standalones, right? The Mason Jar and the birthday list, but I think that's it. And those are like connected. Yeah. I think it's entertaining. Like the thing I love about small town romances is like with Catherine Cow. I feel like if you like Devonny Perry, you're gonna love Catherine Cows. They write very similar vibes of books mm -hmm. and there's just like more to it than just the romance there's always like a family plot or some sort of someone trying to kill someone and then someone gets kidnapped literally every single Catherine Kells book someone gets kidnapped at the end um it's always the heroine which I love and then you're like who is like trying to attack her but I told I was talking to her in her our author interview I was like it's like an episode I was reading. I don't. Know, I don't know what the paintbrush. Was. When she's painting the apartment and Isaiah yeah. comes in and she gets so mad, she just chucks the paintbrush at him. Oh, okay. Yeah. I forgot she painted their apartment. I laughed um, at that, that part. Yeah. Uh, but I was talking to her about how it's like Murder She Wrote. I was like, every episode is Cabot Cove. It's. Just, have you ever watched Murder She Wrote? No. Oh, okay. Well, it's Jessica Fletcher. She is. <laughs> Oh, well, she's a writer and she like writes murder mysteries and then she like helps police solve murder mysteries. She lives in a small town in Maine and like literally every episode someone dies. But it's like that's like slow. What is it called? Um, oh my gosh, what is that genre called? Cozy mysteries. It's like a oh. cozy mystery, right? In the small town. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I, I thought the same thing, and I was like, please don't. And then I was like, we're far, far enough along in this book that it's not going to pop up. And, of course, it did. it did. Yeah. Well, of course, when her mom's, like, talking about her period, and then all of a sudden she's like, when was my I'm like, Two oh, weeks okay. late. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. I love Isaiah. And I do think, like, I think you were talking about MC romances, right? And, like, what would be a good entry point into – MC romance or is that mafia romance? I did a mafia romance. I okay. want to do a, I want to do an MC. I just haven't read that many. Mafia. I feel like this is a good beginning yeah. point because it's not like super super heavy in MC. They don't call each other those. I mean, they said old lady, but there's no like derogatory terms for women yeah. or like talking down about women. Yeah, they actually were. Oh, of course we don't. I was reading Zay's comment. <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say though. No, I always get distracted by comments. I start reading them and I forget what I was saying. Oh, they did talk about Emmett's dad's murder. I don't remember that book. I didn't like that book. So that's why I was. Remember he, they said he was like the one that was murdered. Um, what was he doing? 
he was like at a bar well, or something. Outside of his house, house, right? No. Yeah, and they like told him to get on his knees and shot him in the head. Yeah. It was his friend. Yeah. He like had a really long beard because he was bald. So who wait, Nick's wife is Emmeline? Emmeline? Yeah. So how are they connected? Remember they said that Nick's wife was kidnapped? In her book? And, and that's Bryce why they killed MC. Right? Are we right? I don't remember that part. Oh, yeah, that happened really early on in King's in King Steel. Steel King. Okay, yeah. I remember listening to it. Oh. I think it was in the audiobook. Oh no. <laughs> All these people who have finished the series already, they're like, we know what's gonna happen. Yeah. Uh, like I said, Zay said that her the last book is her favorite. I think it's the last of it, which is Ten Queen. So I'm really yeah. interested. This is really funny. Oh they did God. talk about those cookies a lot. And then she's like, oh, Chrissy's cookies. And then, uh, who was it? Genevieve, right? She was like, Chrissy. Oh, no. She's the one who said Chrissy's cookies. Someone else was like, Chrissy's cookies? That's the mom's name. And I was like, don't we already know this? But I, it was like other characters. I yeah. Know it. Yeah. I wanted um, to punch Dash in the face, though, the way he was treating her. I was like, I'm going to come through this Kindle and okay but like to be fair she comes like running into their town and wants to stir up all this drama and determined to take it down the dad i do wish we got more of her parents i feel like we only saw her dad a little bit and we like never saw her mom okay i think the kidnapping's in the past then yeah i don't believe it was though i don't believe it was a life for a life yeah see 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 i don't yeah there's something yeah. fishy about that. Oh, Emma gets a book. Okay. Yeah, his book is this one. Oh, okay. So Presley's next. No, it's not. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Which as soon as they introduced, I, I was a little confused though, because it says her name, they call her Press. Yes. And I, in my mind, am like, Prez? Like, yes. no, there's the no first, Prez anymore. <laughs> the first time that they said Press, and then they were talking about Prez, as in, like, um, her mom. And I was like, wait, what? And that, then I yes. realized it was Press with an S. Yeah. Okay, so this one is a Hollywood actor comes to Clifton Forge, and it's Presley. That's interesting, though. So what's going to happen? Like, she stayed with that boyfriend for, like, four years. Who? Presley. Oh. Did you not read the little chapter? No. Oh, okay. Maybe it was just because I read the Kindle. The, there's the first chapter of this book at the end of the Oh, book. okay. So that's why I knew. No, I never do that. You do that? Sometimes. Oh, no. I'm like, I'm going to read it in that book anyway, so I don't need to read it now. I want to see, like, what it is. Oh, okay. Um, okay, then I can't say anything because that's good. No. That just win. <laughs> Don't spoil anything. Oh, Emmett's book is the last one. I feel like we didn't get to see a lot of Emmett, though. Did we? Uh, not really. At first, I thought when they were talking about Lee, because you know that name, the mom's mm -hmm. boyfriend, Lee. I thought it was Leo for a second, but it wasn't. Oh, <laughs> no. Uh, isn't Leo, like, the annoying one? The one who paints all the bikes, yeah. Yeah. Isn't he, did he hit on Bryce when she first came in? Was that Leo? Okay, yeah. Like the hot shot. Oh, okay. Thank you, Monica. So book three is Presley. Book four is Scarlet and Luke. Luke is the chief. I just read that. The chief of police that took down Marcus from the second. Oh, second. okay, okay. And then Leo and then Emmett and Tucker's daughter. Oh. What? Have we met Tucker's daughter? I don't think, I didn't even know he had it. Well, I knew he had kids, but they said that they were older. Okay. So. I'm really excited for that. Okay. I know book three and four, Noble Prince and Stone Princess. Oh, I do want to say, so our last live show is what, the 24th? Yes. And Devney Perry posted that she's taking the books down August 20th. But I'm pretty sure if you have them downloaded to your Kindle, and an author takes it off KU, it'll stay on your Kindle until you return it, right? Good question. I don't know. I'm pretty sure. So just make sure you download all of them if you're using KU um, because 
they're going to be taken down four days before our last live show. So just to let you know, I saw that and I was like, oh shoot, that's before we're done. Maybe we can, um, maybe what, well, I don't, if I message her, I feel like she's not going to see it. Maybe you can message her and ask her, like, if we have people downloading. <laughs> God, scared me. My dogs have been good so far. I know. <laughs> okay. I'm, I believe so. Yeah. People are saying they think so. Okay. Yeah. That, that makes me even more excited. Of course, it's the, the last book, but. It's Fallen Jester. That's book five. Okay. I had to look it up because I can't remember. Book six is wild. Oh, my goodness. Was she? Scarlet. I know. Now we're all going to just read all four books back to back. I know. When did her fiance leave her? That's chapter one. Okay, oh. I was like, this didn't happen? We just got to the part where they said they were getting married finally. It happens in chapter one. Oh, I do think it was really funny. What? Do we know this? Uh, Monica? <laughs> Did you just spoil something? Um, I don't think there's a way to know how long a book will be on KU. I just know because she announced that on her. Oh. Well. Jeremiah is Presley. Well, there's like a bonus epilogue that I didn't listen to because I was like, I don't care. And I know <laughs> that um, the authors, so Gianna Darling had told us that you can't upload the same exact PDF, whatever, to in different covers. So I thought, like, every book now in this series has, like, a bonus epilogue, and I, like, hate epilogues already, so I, like, especially hate bonus epilogues. So I didn't read the bonus epilogue in this book, and I did not read the bonus epilogue in the second one, so. Okay, so, yeah, the epilogue was, okay, the wedding was called off in the epilogue, not chapter one. Chapter one picks okay. up right after that. Okay, so. Well, did you read the bonus epilogue? No. Oh, okay, so we don't know that yet. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Wedding, that next, so. The wedding was called off in the epilogue. That's why I said, that's why I was saying she sets it up really well if you do read the epilogue because it brings it, like, it makes you want to jump into the next. Well, one. I read, I listened to the epilogue. I just didn't yeah. listen to the bonus epilogue. I didn't see a bonus. Oh, I did. Just kidding. Okay. That's like three years down the road and they're right. happy and kids. You know. Yeah, which I don't care. But I'm pretty sure she added that as content to make it different than the original so that she could upload it or else Amazon will flag it and not let you publish it. Um, <laughs> just Monica. keep track of what's in what book. <laughs> um, that I mean, it makes sense of why she was so mad in the epilogue. Yeah. Interesting. I mean, we haven't learned a lot about Presley anyways. Yeah. Um, see, I thought it was imminent Presley because – Stone Princess? It's Emmett Stone is his name. Oh, so you thought it was with that stone name. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's why I thought Emmett yeah. and Presley. Yeah. I was going to say something, then and I forget. What was I going to say? About what? I don't even remember. I, I really liked something. I don't remember what I was going to say. In book two? <laughs> I don't remember. I was, like, going to say it, and then I got distracted by Monica's comment. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What was I going to talk about? I wonder if Sam's read these books. I haven't asked her. I don't know. She's been really busy, so. I never read synopses, so I have no idea whose book is next or what. Yeah, I usually don't. Until, like, if an author, like, sets up the next one, I like to see. Yeah. Okay. I mean, Presley's book is next. So, we're going to figure that out soon anyways. Yeah. Um, well, there was something that I was like, oh, my gosh, this was so fun. And I really liked it. And now I don't remember. I don't know. Oh, now I remember. So, <laughs> and it's not something that I actually like. But <laughs> it was... All these books, and I feel like it's happened in, like, every book I've read by Debbie Perry. They literally get married, like, two months after meeting. Oh. Um, okay. And that happened in book one. Yeah. And it was funny. What I thought was funny was they were getting mad at Genevieve. Isn't that her name? Genevieve? Mm -hmm. Yeah. For, like, going too fast with Isaiah. And she's like, you literally just met six months ago. 
stop judging six me. Weeks. Six weeks. Six weeks ago. Sorry, six weeks ago. Yeah, six weeks. And it was so funny. And they're like, I guess you're right. And they're like, you didn't know he doesn't drink. She's like, we're learning new things about each, <laughs> each other. But it's like they always literally the series. I was like, you literally could not stand the sight of one another six weeks ago. And now you want to get married? Like, is this going to last? Like, That's you don't why- even know. That's why I didn't like the pregnancy trope. That's why I was like, because it makes them like forced to stay together. Yes, and I hate that. that. That's yeah. the only. That's like that's the main reason why. Yeah, it's like an easy but, way to be like they're gonna be together forever. Yeah, but it always yeah, and that's what like I feel like all these small town romances I read. The epilogue is literally like two months later they're engaged and gonna get married, and I was like, you just <laughs> fell in love like a month ago. But okay, let's I go did. Get I did think it was cute though. In book two, even though they got married. And for the reason they got married, the law doesn't even matter. That made me so mad. Ooh, like, yeah. I was going to ask you. Um, hold on. Let me find. I want to say hi to Carrie real quick. Hello. Oh, hi, Carrie. Welcome. Um, what did you think about her being a paralegal? Um. I, okay. So <laughs> I thought it was interesting, but it's not like such a big thing. Okay. About her, like yeah. her job. Hang on. Brennan came home and he was. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, I thought it was interesting, but it, there wasn't like a big part of her being a paralegal. Like I've never heard of a law office letting you study for law school while you work. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Like in her, in her, um, her old or whatever. Yeah, in Denver, I thought that was really weird. But then again, I've never worked in like a small firm like that. Um, but I did like it that they that she was like, was it Jim? Is Jim his name? The the lawyer for mm-hmm. Draven? I think so. Uh, he was like, yeah, no, you're not going to know anything about this trial because oh yeah a yeah conflict of interest. Conflict and I was interest. like, Thank yeah, Christ, because that's like a huge huge ethical thing. Yeah. So I did like that. I did like that they separated it. I mean, I thought it was kind of weird that she was like researching at work because that's a big no-no, <laughs> like using oh, like, oh, like, like that resource resources that. that not many people have access to. Yeah, but I mean, it's an MC club kind of ish romance, so I give yeah. them a little, you know. But okay. I did like it that she was barely. Okay, I rem- I remembered to ask you because yeah. I'm always like super critical of like teacher romances. I'm like. Ugh. This is I, I am, but because I've never had that small firm, like, I yeah. work in only big firms, so it's hard to tell. I've just never heard of that, because, like, if I was a paralegal and I wanted to become a lawyer, I would have to leave the company and go to law school for three years and then come back to right. <laughs> work and, like, be paid to study. <laughs> yeah, no. Because she, she said, like, oh, in my old company, I was supposed to use company time to study, but I never did, because I didn't want to, and I was like... I've never heard of that before. Yeah. Um, with this comment, I do agree. Dash was like really hard on her, and she literally did not even know he was her father. And I'm like, Dash, stop projecting your anger onto your half sister. I know. I was so mad at him. And it went through both, like through until he had the baby. So it was like over a year. Well, I guess not over a year. It would have been like exactly nine months because it was right when she figured out she was pregnant. It was right. It was when right off. when Draven died. Right. That he was finally like, okay, this is the only family I have. Right. Well, I, it was when the baby was born because then she's like, no, you're going to listen to me and you want me yelling at you in front of your newborn child. Yeah. So she finally like stood up to him. But <sighs> Christy. I will <laughs> say that's a normal thing. Like true to small towns, they do. What? Things move fast? Oh my God. Yes. All the time. Are they getting kidnapped left and right? <laughs> I mean, I don't know about that. Like where my mom grew up in Louisiana, it's such a small town. Like even now, my mom hasn't lived down there for 30 years now. And yet, like, everyone seems to know everything about her life because everyone knows everyone down there and they always talk. And it's a, when you go down there, it's a this and a that. And let's talk about this. Let's talk about that. And, like, everyone knows everyone's business. Who had a baby? Who cheated on who? Who's in jail? Who's, like, it's so crazy. Like, it's so crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's funny. Um, I think it was interesting how, like, it's very, like, MC light, but they have a very, very dark past. 
Oh, because yeah. Draven was like, oh, if I killed her, nobody would have found her body. And, like, he, they took out an entire MC, didn't they? They burned it down. Like, yeah. everything down. And I was like, I want to see that part. <laughs> yeah. I know. And I was like, are we going to get, I mean, I don't think we will. But, like, imagine, like, Draven's book. Like, how many people he's killed and, like, didn't, did they do, yeah, they had drugs too, right? They were drug <laughs> runners and, like, made all their money off of that and, like. This is a dark MC, but we didn't yes. see any of it. We just, like, talked about it. So I feel like if you really want to, like, get the vibe of an MC romance, but you're too scared to, like, dive into it, I'm like, well, <laughs> Draven's killed a lot of people, so. It's like, um, you know how, well, Ava Harrison, she has, like, a mafia romance that's not really mafia. He was in the mafia, but now he's, like, moving forward. I like to say she's, like, dipping her toe into that genre without like mm -hmm. fully committing to everything. And I feel like that's what Devney Perry's doing. She's like dipping her toe in like MC just to see mm -hmm. how it is and putting a feel out for it. And I thought it was funny. Mm -hmm. But like her books are not dark. They're just like no. small town romances, but it's like. I mean, there's dark aspects like cheating yeah. and this and that and this person having this yeah. child and never telling. Yeah, it's a lot. I could never live in a small town. I don't want people knowing all my business. I mean, and also the fact that he cheated on his wife and didn't know he had another baby. And yeah. <laughs> so dramatic. It is. These are very much like candy where it's just like soap opera. Like, give me the drama one after the other after the other, mm -hmm. which I, I really like. I feel like in a small town, though, you can like, like get around that. Like you can do that where it's so dramatic and so over the top and this and that because yeah. it's like normal. Yeah. I know we were talking about this in the Catherine Cowles interview, Monica's small town life and everything that happened. Yeah. And not watered down in a bad way. No. It's just like it doesn't focus on that gritty part. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not like the Fallen series does. So it gives you a feel of how found family's important. Yes. How, um, oh my God, is this because that new book she came out with? Are they going to like connect somehow? Because he's an MMA fighter. Are they? But, like, I feel like this was just, like, dropped, and then that was it. They're like, oh, yeah, he likes me because he used to bet on my fights. And that was it. And I was like, fights? What is, like, come on, give it to me. Like, they're all the tropes that we love in our dark romances. Yes. And it's like, just like, oh, yeah, that's there. And that's there. Isn't it? Like, they only talked about it, like, a little bit. Yeah. It was, like, an offhanded comment. Yeah. And I was like, fights that's why i want to read the new Daphne perry one the red one i don't know who who had already read it monica yeah she gave it five stars because she said it was second chance do they mention monica let us know oh yeah monica do they mention in garnet flats yes i will say that this is a really oh, i was gonna say it gives you the aspect of like found family which is a lot of mc i mean they do have like some people who are actually blood related in the mc but it's more found family like if they find someone they'll take them in yeah yes yeah and then you get to see like all the ways that they do make money or in this case they did make money um legal and otherwise like they have the garage where they mm -hmm. fix bikes and cars and stuff but also they have the not legal parts mm -hmm. but I wonder like what was Bryce trying to uncover about the MC she was like I'm gonna what? get the bottom of it I'm like why they disbanded. But, like, that wasn't even that exciting. Yeah. They just, like, went Thinking, their separate ways. Yeah, I think it was just a way to get close to Dash. Okay. Like, I think I think she wrote it that way. I mean, unless it comes out later. Oh, Marcus. Marcus is Lee's name. Yeah. Marcus something. Lee something. But also, her mom knew what she was doing when she was coming down to the town every summer and getting wasted with the club. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She knew what she was doing and pounced as soon as she saw weakness in their relationship. And I was like, that's your best friend. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? I was, I literally, like, I don't have a lot of, like, hatred for certain characters. Oh, okay. Okay. So you just have to wait till the last two. Okay. Now, see, I read the comment and then I figured out what it was. I know. And then you stopped talking halfway through. <laughs> Or were you going to finish what you're saying? I can't remember what I was saying. Mm, then it'll come back. I do like the found family aspect. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. And I'm even like with Isaiah, he was so closed off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I actually thought he was the person that with the kidnapping and everything. I thought he was the one, but he went to rescue them. Well, that was in book one, like before he went. I, cause I, he was so like standoffish with everyone. Right. I was like, we don't know anything about him. Look, everyone's a suspect in my mind until you're proven innocent, which is not the way you're supposed to do it. <laughs> How about hating characters? Oh, Draven. Oh, I hated him because he like had this wife and he had two sons and he like loved his life and he went through like a kind of rough patch with her and like cheats on her. Like, are you kidding me? Like, that is so... Listen, if that, no, I'm not I'm just going to say, if that happened to me, if Brandon went out and had that every time we had a fight, oh my God, I would lose. No, we would never be together. <laughs> it's not, you don't just do this. Right. And get tough. That made me so mad. That's why, like, I, I hated Draven for a while. And so when he said, like, he killed himself, I was like, to be honest, he's one of those characters that he could stay dead and I'd be totally okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fair. Uh, I do think that there's a lot of great tropes in all of her books. She does a really good job of doing different ones for each book. So Yeah, I wonder so I wonder what Stone Princess is if there's the tropes. Obviously he's a Hollywood actor. Oh my god. The last thing in the synopsis it says, but Shaw, who is the hero of this book, might regret that purchase once. Presley's ex fiance returns, bringing with him a war between old rivals that could both that could burn both their houses down. The very um kind of blatant nod to Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, <laughs> I do think though, like the town knows what they did, so I don't know like what she thought she was doing because I'm like everybody knows what the MC was doing. They just I think she was just project. being nosy. I think yeah. she was just being nosy. Honestly, that's true. Well, I'm glad you made it, Lizelle. We still have Hi. a little bit of time. That's okay. I always get time thrown for her. I know. Oh, okay. Another MC book where the new guy was the bad guy. Yeah, see? I don't trust anyone. I feel like this would be so hard to do. Like, Gianna does this too, where she, like, leaves you little snippets, and then you, like, don't realize something until, like, six books later. And yeah. It's like... How did you do that? Right? Like, Genevieve's talking about how nice and sweet her mom was. Like, she totally went after her best friend's man. Yeah. Knowing what she was doing. I was like, you don't know your mama, girl. Right. Okay, and then this, too. His mom never knew that his dad cheated. And never knew that there was another daughter out there. That's why I think Dash was so mad that he wanted to place his anger on someone. And Genevieve was, like, the only one left that he could do that once Draven yeah. died, whether yeah. he's actually dead or not. You're but always going to put it in I'm only, Until, listen, to the very last of this book, everyone keeps saying things are going to come up. So I'm not counting anything out. But literally, like, I think that's why he was so mad. Do I understand it? Kind of. Do I think it was right? No. But, like, I could see how he could be justified. But still, like, oh. That, that actually breaks my heart because I'm like, the amount of guilt that Draven has of not coming clean, oh, man. And that's why I'm thinking, like, maybe he really did kill himself or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But I do feel bad that it was Nick and Dash who found their mom. I didn't know that until they said that. And I was like, could you imagine being, like, a young oh, – that's – now I want to go back and read Nick's book because I have it another enemies to lovers we just got one of a one i feel like the first book was more hate to love okay and this one's more like rivals to lovers. yeah like enemies to lovers type of a thing because you know there's a big difference because i feel like bryce and dash really did like hate each other whether they had chemistry like they did hate each other oh okay like <laughs> yes because marcus was married Oh, and of yeah. course, he was always like, I'm going to leave my wife. Okay, but you're still married. Yeah. You're still with a married man. I cannot. I cannot deal. Like, cheating is a hard line for me because I'm always like, just leave the person. Like, just leave the person. Why would yeah. you do that? Um, whose mom? The Genevieve's mom? Oh. Marcus? Yeah. Yeah. Because they knew who killed Dash's mom. 
Yeah, they knew who that was. But I think she's talking about how Marcus was the one, like, how it played out. I did think it came up out of nowhere. Yes. Like, everything was, like, neutral and normal, and they were going to move on. And then all of a sudden, they were like, no, just kidding. Rewind. We're back for more. And it was yeah. Marcus, you know, saying, where did you get this necklace from? Oh, Yeah. Well, and I didn't get a bad var- vibe from Marcus until that whole interview where he was, like, come down to the station. And it was, like, then playing her. Mm-hmm. And then I was, like, okay, but we haven't heard from this guy literally the entire book. Yeah. And we saw him a little bit at the beginning of book one. But also, when she was, like, went in for questioning, okay, being a paralegal, that really bugged me. I was, like, girl, you do not go in there without a lawyer. Like, it does, I don't care. You can go sit in there, but you have to sit and wait until your lawyer comes. Do not say a word. Like, ah. Oh, man you know this and she was like I was just curious and I was like that's how you get yourself in trouble she said a lot of stuff in there that could easily got her in trouble <laughs> come on and someone who works for the law should know that <laughs> yeah if she knew the whole thing about like husbands and wives and not testifying against each other mm-hmm. and then just magically what, what state are they in Wyoming Montana Montana magically in Montana this law doesn't you know like affect them at all in that yeah. way like, it doesn't matter if they're married or not I was like you should have looked that up before that yeah. happened uh, but I do agree with this one like I said like they always end up married within two months and pregnant so that's just yeah her formula I don't think she was in book two no I don't think she was Is but she- Bryce was pregnant twice so <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> Right, wasn't she pregnant? Like, her child was, like, four months old, and she's like, I'm pregnant again. And I'm like, okay. Oh, yeah, it was, like, right after her six weeks, like, yeah. thing. She yeah. was like, we didn't think it was going to happen that soon. And I was like, usually it doesn't. Yeah. Okay, but also, like, um, I feel like, I don't know, because Dash was, like, making it such a big deal about using protection. Because, like, you always have to. I know someone who, like, the girl messed with it and then they got pregnant. I'm always doing that. And I was like, okay, well, you just like jinxed yourself because <laughs> now, because like they said that it wasn't on purpose and they said, oh, and then of course he looks at his car. He's like, oh, I bet that's where it happened. I was like, you, like you would know, like, oh my God. See, but, like, she was leaving these crumbs in that book yes. and I didn't pick them up and then I got to yeah. it. I was like, we're in the clear. And I was just kidding. We're not. Yeah. I was like, oh, he said that for a reason because she's going to get pregnant. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's why Marcus, like, flew off the handles and killed her was because she was cheating on him with Draven. Yep. Oh, my God. Is that really really cheating, though, if, like, he's married, if Marcus is married? I mean, I guess. Well, she's, like, in a not, I mean, monogamous on her part. I don't know. Yeah, I really want a story with this girl. I'm like, who are you? She was, like, the best person ever and, like, the best mother. And, like, I don't know. Because then Bryce is like, well, I still have that obituary written for her. Like, that really nice piece. And it's like, okay, but she lived a very messy life. So. (laughs) She was, she was messy. Yes. She was really messy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, she wasn't. I did like, we didn't talk about Isaiah a lot, but I did like him. He was very, Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say it's grumpy sunshine because they were both like kind of grumpy most of the time, like in their own sadness. Mm -hmm. And I was really getting tired of him not opening up to her. And I was like, oh my goodness, just tell her. Especially when she heard his parents talking about it. Oh yeah. And then she was like, she brought it up. He's like, oh my gosh, you snooped, didn't you? You Googled me or like you figured it out. I'm like, okay, she's got to know. Like. You can't bring, and that, I think she said that. She's like, you can't bring me to your parents and expect me not to find things out when you yeah. don't tell me anything. I was just, I was honestly, like, shocked how long they survived in that apartment together and lasted that long. Yeah. I didn't even know the thing about, I was surprised, though, that there was a three-year time jump between book two and three. But there's Wait, going to be. There's a time jump between two and three? Oh, I thought you said one and two for no. Sorry, I was going to Like three years. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. It just, like, feels weird to me because I'm like, aren't they, like, current time? And if you do next gen, it'd be, like, 20, 40 <laughs> like, <laughs> in the time here. 40. That it is. Yeah. Oh. 
but she had a great and they she's like yeah we ate like four cookies for lunch i'm like okay <laughs> Cheryl? Who's Cheryl? Oh, are you responding to Cheryl? Okay. Oh. Yeah. Okay. She did steal the recipe. Oh, yeah. It's not even her recipe. It's Chris's no. recipe. It's Dash's mom's recipe. Her best friend. Oh, my God. Listen, I don't know how people can't talk. Maybe I'm just a talker, but, like, as soon as someone walks in my house, I'm like, sit down. Let's well, talk. they would pretend to be asleep. I thought that was funny. She I would, can't like, do pretend that. to keep on sleeping. I can't do that. Yeah. I don't, I don't think it was faded black. black. I think it was very much slow burn. So we didn't. And there were a lot less steamy scenes. Yeah, because... it was more about the intimacy and less yeah. about the like passion and lust surrounding that. Yeah. While book one was all about their like explosive chemistry together, yeah. even though they hated each other. Yeah. Yeah. I did like in book two though when they because you know they got married really quickly that they actually went back and got married like for real. Because yeah. they were choosing to stay together and not getting, like, an annulment or anything like that. Yeah. I know this was cute. Oh, yeah. And she slept oh, on the couch one night or something. Yeah. And he's like, no, no, that's not happening again. <laughs> yeah. She was like, my neck hurts. My back hurts. Was, I also, like, really felt for Isaiah because he, like, doesn't have a lot of money. And he, like, doesn't have a lot of opportunities because of his record. And, and he only went to prison because his brother was, like, gung-ho about making him pay for that accident. Which I'm just – and he's like, well, I just went in for a kiss and then I missed the stop sign. And I'm like, like, this wasn't on purpose. But, like, in the oh. Cloverleaf Chapel, you, like, hear the brothers adamant that his brother's going to jail. Okay, that's what I was going to ask, because it didn't yeah. say in book two that, like, I mean, in my head, vehicular homicide like that, you get longer than three years. Well, he so, got out early. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah okay. I think he was he supposed to be understand. five, but he got out in three, because in book, in the Cloverleaf Chapel, he got out early in there, and he, like, went bonkers on his brother for getting out early, and then they have, like, a heart-to-heart -heart about, like, and then he, like, overcame it because, like, he's with someone now, so... Uh, no, it wasn't tragic. Why do I keep on saying clip? That was tragic. Yeah, that was in the other one. Kane's I miss the names. The brother. Nick Kane. is the one in Cloverleaf Chapel. Yeah, okay. I knew what you were talking about. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But yeah the brother that was... who lost the baby. Yeah. I did like that she put that in there because that's what a lot of people do deal with when they come out of jail or prison or whatever, yeah. even if it's for something – I mean, we think is like minor or is considered an accident. Like it's stained forever. Right. So like he can never get a normal job ever. Right. Well, even like his uh, apartment landlord was like trying yeah. to upcharge him. But I thought it was so like just vulnerable when he was like, oh, I wore my best jeans because that's all I had. And she like looked at me like I wasn't trying. And he was like, but those were like the only clean pair. Like, I'm just like, you're just like, he was oh. like he was like, she deserves better. And I was like, no, she doesn't. It's fine. Yeah, I did. I think that um, so far, he's one of my favorite characters. Yeah. Like, Genevieve was not hot. I wouldn't say hot and cold. Like, she was acting kind of, like, bratty towards yeah. him a lot. But I understood where it came from because her mother just died. And she didn't know who did it. <laughs> they liked their cookies. <laughs> Yeah, they had, they are sweet teeth, sweet tooth people. There mm -hmm. go. That's fair. I just think like the little snippets we had were just so sweet. Yeah. I know. I mean, because then you have to think about, he literally lost someone. I don't know if he like loved her, but he was planning a future with her. They didn't have a lot of time together. Like he yeah. was responsible for her death. And he so was like, like we already... hadn't even had, like, we didn't even have sex or anything. And I was like, right. oh, my God. You felt for her. But also at the same time, like, she left Kane. I was like, I don't want to live with you anymore. Which I'm like, okay, good. There we go. Like, you may be having this baby, but not everyone needs to be, like, together. You know what I mean? Who? Kane and Shannon. The girl who died. Oh, okay. Yeah. Was Kane his name? The brother? Yeah. Yeah, K A I N E, right? Oh, yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. I was like, I pronounce it right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I was like, wait, who are these people? They weren't in the series. Okay. Yes. That was 
the brother. Yeah, that was in tragic. Okay. It is hard though, like if overlapping all these series trying to keep everybody straight. I'm just like, yeah, which one is that? That's like part of me wants to jump in like to Lark Cove or like the other one, Jameson Valley. But at the same yeah. time, like I need to finish this one and get all the characters in a row for me. Yeah. And then I can go back because I'll get confused. I wonder if there's like a recommended reading order. Because this overlaps with both of them. What do you mean both? Like both Jameson Valley and Lark oh. Cove. Let me see if she Well, I them. guess. Well, I don't know. Because like she does have a reading Valley, order. Does she? Um, so it says the Eden series, Love Family Sagas. The Eden series is her most newest. Um, it follows six siblings, Clifton Burge. This is a spinoff from Jameson Valley, though you do not need to read those books first, as these are standalones. Mm -hmm. And then she talks about, oh, Mason Jar. Oh, those are the. Yeah, the Mason Jar and the birthday list. are. The then two. she has Runaway. Oh, she does Runaway Road, right? Yeah, that's that. Yeah, and then. Lark oh, I forgot Cove. about that series. I have not even close to finishing. Oh, okay. <laughs> and it says Lark Cove is a spinoff from the Jameson Valley series, though you do not. So it seems like Jameson Valley should come first and then either Lark Cove or this one. What is it called? I Clifton think Burge? Zay told me that Jameson Valley was her first series. That makes sense. And that's why I didn't know. That seems like the first one that she started with and then she had all these like spinoff yeah. ones. But also like the outpost having Bryce there, I feel like that's a good. And then there's only the bitter root in. And then it goes to Clifton Forge, would make sense, after seeing her at the very end of that. What? Oh, my goodness. I don't remember if I read both of them or just one of them. I think you'll probably be fine. I don't know if I like all this overlap. This is <laughs> a I lot. Like I have to have like read everything. Oh my goodness. Well. Wait, are they? Because I read the bribe. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. <laughs> wait. Hang on. I got the bribe mixed up with the freaking Catherine Cows I was reading. <laughs> I told you they're hard to keep track of if you read them at the same time. Because I was like, wait, in the bribe, he's a sheriff. But she's the part of, like, that cult or whatever. And then I was like, wait, no, no. no. That's Tattered Stars. Because I read them at the same time. Hang on. Okay, so I read, oh my gosh, I read The Birthday List. Oh well, yes, I remember we were talking about this. The Jameson Valley one is really my least favorite series. Oh, I read The Mace the Birthday List back in 2018. I so, gave it five stars. Do you remember or do you not remember? <laughs> I remember literally nothing about that book. Okay. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh, it's in Bozeman. Which one? The birthday list. Isn't that where Isaiah's from? And where um, Genevieve grew up? Where her mom was? Yeah. Or is that Bryce? One of them was talking to oh. Isaiah. In, in The Bride by Will and Nash, they... Uh, are in Bozeman for like a second. Oh, okay. And then they go to well, Calamity. Where I remember them talking about Bozeman a lot, and I forget who was from Bozeman. What, in this series? Yeah, in the Clifton Forge. Someone said, yeah. oh, I grew up in Bozeman. They're like, oh, I did too. Oh, yeah, I it's like, her. oh, Bryce did, I thought. Was it Bryce? And Isaiah? Yeah, because her brother. She knows She knows Kane. Oh, was it Kane? Oh, yeah, because Kane's Isaiah's brother. Okay. <laughs> Someone needs to like, <laughs> Make a map of all of this. Oh, okay. Because I was like, Bozeman sounds. Oh, and so they go to Bozeman in um, The Bribe? For like a second. I think it was at the beginning. They're at, like, they're on like a hike. <laughs> You're ridiculous. 
Because, like, she's a famous singer in The Bribe. Then does she know the hero in that one? <laughs> That's what I was just thinking. I was like, what the heck? Um, I would say you could skip some of the Jameson Valley, but now I'm like, I like knowing the story of the siblings and stuff. So, like, even though I didn't love the Cloverleaf Chapel, like, reading that now, I'm like, oh, yeah. And I'm, like, happy I read it. I don't know. But I don't like anything until book four. So I don't know if you want to skip the first three books, but book four was just perfect. Of which one? Jameson Valley? Yeah, The Outpost. Okay, I need to see. Okay, so apparently, I didn't know I read Tattered. Apparently, I've read Tattered. Oh, but... that's the one where, is that the one where she gets pregnant on the one night stand and then can't find him again? Wait, which one are you talking about? Tattered. Oh, hang on. That's why I say I don't remember it. Hang on. No, is that the Catherine Cowell series I'm thinking of? No, that is that. Because timid, she she goes to the bar. Okay, so tattered, she hooks up with a guy. She gets pregnant, but he was only there on business. So then he leaves. They, she worked as a bartender, right? Yeah. And then she okay. had her own, and then she had her own, like, bar with, like, the seven-year-old girl, right? And yeah. He was, like, rich. And then he's back in town. He's, like, super because rich. He has a lot of, yeah, he has a lot of money, and he wants to buy yeah. something. Okay. And he meets her, and he's, like, let's go back to New York. And she's, like, nah yeah. And then her best friend is in love with her, but that best friend is the one in Timid, because I hated Timid. That book got, like, two uh, stars. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah, I didn't like Tattered, because there was a part in Tattered where – um the kid's like seven years old so she's like or eight or something she's pretty old so like she understands like who is who and what's happening you know what I mean yeah. and he was like trying to like win his way yeah. over to her and I was like what don't and she well, was like just, up with it, though. yeah she was like just be nice to your dad and she was like why and I was like don't yeah. force her to be nice to someone just because you know what I mean yeah that's the reason why I didn't like it okay I gave yeah. it three stars there we go okay oh Zay God. we're counting on you <laughs> make a guy this should be your first so, booktube video. like video what? oh my goodness Oh my god. This is like a little a little much. <laughs> you need someone needs to interview Devony Perry and be like, what are you doing? <laughs> so apparently Hoopla has like all of her audiobooks. Hoopla had her um well uh Libby had like one series and Hoopla had another. That's how I read them. So Indigo Ridge was on my Libby app. The audio? Oh no, I just got the ebook. I don't know if the audio. Oh is. yeah, mine has the ebooks. So Garnet Flats was actually like the ebook was on my library already. Oh wow, yeah no, Hoopla has all of the timid tinsel that one. Then they have yes. letters to Molly and birthday list, and then they have the Clover Leaf Chapel, the Outpost. Ebook or audio? Audio. The Candle Place, the A Lucky Heart. Mine doesn't have that. steal that from you <laughs> how many uh books do you have left to take out um so i don't know how it works honestly i haven't figured that out yet so well, i have I tell one. you okay so oh yeah it says the when top you go to now, borrow you can it tells you at the top yeah i cannot borrow any more titles this month oh one two three four five six seven oh yeah because i'm a dummy and i borrowed tattered thinking oh i'll start tattered i already freaking read that book so you wasted one of your borrows i did i did that's okay the month is almost in i'll dive into devney perry you are <laughs> what you, you have to do it <laughs> yeah okay monica's read all the clifton forge mason drawer series the edens the runaway series her christmas sh short stories and then calamity which was the will and ash one Oh my God. So what are you missing? The Cloverleaf? Jameson Valley. She's missing Jameson Valley. 
Oh, my library has the ebook of Clifton Forge. Oh, do they? Yeah. That's actually so weird. Maybe that's because mm, she took it out of KU. Well, no, she put it Mine, in. Okay, so she like really, mine already has the place a hold on Timeless, which is the new li uh, Lark Cove book, which doesn't come out until January. So the library is already like, we know we're going to get this. But you have, um, it shows Jasper Vale, right? On that library app too? That doesn't come out till November, right? Oh, really? What's yeah, that's that? Vale? That's the one after oh, the Garnet. One? Yeah, Garnet Flats. Oh my gosh, yeah. Wow. Oh, see, yeah. Libby has Garnet Flats. I mean, I've played yeah. hold on it, but. Mine doesn't have anybody taking it out. I can borrow the ebook right now if I want oh. to. I have the paperback. My Libby has the Timid and Tattered series. Yeah. Oh, and they have these books, the ebooks for Clifton and Forge. Ooh. Oh my God, of course, book two has a hold. A 10 week wait? Oh. I do like, cause also Catherine Cowles was talking about how she makes sure that libraries get her books, which is really nice. Yeah, a lot of sometimes like indie-ish authors, they don't yeah. do that. Well, she has a big backlist, and I will say there are hits and misses. So, I guess my thing is, is like, how have I not heard of her? Do you know what I mean? Like you haven't heard of her? Like, um, she's publishing in 2017, 2018. Mm -hmm. Like, I've literally never heard of her until like in the last year. Oh. I read her in 2018. I know, I just find that so weird. But also for the longest time I only had KU. So if her stuff wasn't in KU, which it seems like none of hers is, it's wide on all platforms. Right. Which I get wanting like everybody to have access to your book, even though it's like six dollars for an ebook, which is a lot of money. Yeah. Um, I think it's like five ninety nine. But I do think she has really become a lot more popular recently, especially with this new series. Yeah. I mean her ouch, her Will and Ash stuff too. Yeah. Though someone messaged me saying that they didn't realize that Will and Ash was mm -hmm. Debbie Perry. Mm -hmm. Does she try and keep that a secret? She doesn't? Okay. I think it was in the beginning, but... Okay, okay. Because someone was like, I didn't know that. And then she just posted on her story. Someone asked, like, what's the difference? Her Will and Nash stuff is available in Kindle Unlimited. That's stuff that she puts in KU. Her Debbie yeah. Perry stuff is wide, so it's not available in KU. Which I was like, okay, that's a cool description. Like, distinction between the two. Yeah. No, she posts photos of herself on her Will and Ash Instagram. Yeah, yeah. I did see that, but. Her hair is, like, so blonde. She's so pretty. Like, seeing her in person, in she's person? so pretty. Yeah, but her hair is, like, I wonder if she dyes it. Because it's, like, so, like, what is the word? Like, bo I don't want to say bottle blonde, but it's, like, so perfect. She's very blonde. bright blonde. Yeah. Yeah, like. Not many people can get it like that if they die. I will say I think authors are, like, really killing it with her new series because I think that the Eden so far, overall, I've only read two, are very consistent and really good, unlike her other series where it's, like, hit or miss. And then Catherine Cowles, too, her series have been hit or miss for me. But, like, this new one, I'm, like, I'm loving every single book, so. You mean the Tattered and Torn one? That's the Yeah. Okay. Did I say something different? No, you just said her new one. I wanted to make oh, sure yeah. the Tattered and Torn was the newest one. Yeah. I always thought the spiciness level, but no. <laughs> That's what I thought. But then you said no when you read Ivy, right? Oh, no, yeah. the bribe. Yeah. 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 Oh, that could be cool, reading them in published order. I own book two, Riven Night, on ebooks. I think it was free at some point in the last four years, and I got it. So she does do that. A lot of sometimes authors will do that. So, like, they'll go someone will get hooked by like one book and then they'll go buy the rest. That's usually why they do that. Yeah. Um, I think it's hard. I think there have been a couple authors who've done it, but I think it's like really, really, really hard because it doesn't count. Um, 
Lucy Score. Her book's on KU, and she, isn't she a... New York Times? Yeah. Or Wall Street? Because it doesn't count the KU reads, it only counts. Yeah, because she said that means that only her paperback sales had counted, and she got on the list because of her paperback sales. Oh, does it yes. count for audio, too? Like, if you buy the audio? Um, I don't, I don't remember, but I saw her post about it when she was like, this is absolutely nuts. I mean, she's number one in the Kindle store like every week. So, so basically, if you're in KU, someone has to purchase the ebook and or purchase the paperback for it to count towards yes. that New York Times, like Wall Street. All, yes. Wow. All of her KU borrows don't count. And I mean, that's a ton of readers are doing that. Yeah. I forget where she posted it. That's it was somewhere crazy to me. And I remember her saying this is literally because of paperback sales. And that is, I mean, her book has been nuts. So. Wow. Yeah. I do think I though, want, it's going to be a bestseller for things we, the, the uh, things we never let go. So. And things we never got over. Yep. That's what I, I meant. I saw things we never, and then go, the tea was covered by the flower. <laughs> But I do find it interesting, though, that, um, yep. yeah, that's what she said. Um, I end up buying the paperback of all my KU books anyway, so. <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, no. It must have been open. Yeah, I think we're all the same. Yeah. I even buy it before I read it, even though I know it's on KU. <laughs> If I if I have the paperback and it's available in KU, I'll download it. So I just hold my Kindle sometimes. That's what I'm doing with this book. It's in KU, so I'm just <laughs> yeah. reading it. Well, also that's a special edition. You don't want to read it. Yeah, that's true. I like holding paperback sometimes can be annoying too. So I'm just mm -hmm. like, it's easier to hold my Kindle on my phone. Yeah. Especially if I'm reading in bed. And then I'm like, I can't like lay comfortably with my. Mm -hmm. Like I was rereading When Villains Rise and I just got it on KU. Yeah. I was like, I'm just giving Gianna my money. It's fine. Yeah. Well, but I think on KU, it only counts the first read. Uh, like, you only get paid for the first time you read it. I thought it was per page, no matter how yeah, many times. First time. Oh, see, I didn't, I thought it didn't matter for how many times you downloaded it. It's if you Correct me if I'm wrong, anybody in the comments, but well, I don't know. I like I that's just what I assumed. Not that I heard it anywhere. I swear I saw somewhere authors like spout little things off. Like that? Okay. It only counted the first that's read. Interesting. Yeah. It kind of seems yeah. like per page, but only for the first read through. That's kind of messed up. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like this I don't know why. Up. Amazon just likes to not pay their authors, so. Yeah. I'm just starting it. Don't you love this? I, mean, class? I love the first book. Oh my gosh. It does it on a cliffhanger? Yeah, and I never picked up the rest of the series. <laughs> you know what? I think I might dive into a Catherine Cows instead. I don't know <laughs> how I feel about it's like a really big cliffhanger, too. Yeah, I might yeah. show that. I'm only on the first page. Oh, okay. Maybe it was Katie Rob. I saw an author on social media talking about it. I love how open they are about it. So then I know more like how yeah. I can support an author. So like sometimes I will buy the paperback and then like read or if I get an arc from them and then don't read it in time and it's out on KU, I'll just download the KU and not read the arc I was sent so that they get paid for my read. Even though I was Oh yeah, art. that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Amazon's annoying. The more you know. Yeah. Okay. We've been talking for longer than I thought we would. <laughs> I'm glad everybody was enjoying the book, though. That was a fun conversation. Yeah. Next week, not next week, two weeks, we'll be reading these two. Is this true? Because I've had some books out on KU for like over a year. Try not to do that. I think you said that in one of your videos. You've had it like checked out since like 2021 or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but Tori has the beautiful paperbacks. They're so pretty. It's like lemonade. I know. Colors. They're so I don't pretty. know. No, Did you know. choose these two books for me? Because I love the princess and the prince thing. Oh, do you? Yeah. No, but I wanted know. the first one and Sam wanted the last one, so you got the middle one. I'm glad I got the prince and the princess. Yeah. I'm excited, though. 
Yeah. I, I'm I'm a little nervous for Presley because they said that was her least favorite, I think. But Yeah. Um I didn't like I don't I don't even I don't think I read anything by that author. Kennedy Fox was huge like three years ago when I was reading them, and then they annoyed me, so then I stopped reading the books. <laughs> just the things that they were doing. I'm just like, meh. Yeah. Hmm. It's two authors. That's why I said they. Yeah. Oh, it's a duo. Okay. Yeah. Yay. Yay. August 10th on my channel. Yeah. That's that's mine. That's the next live show, I should say. I think at 8 p.m. I think we're doing it at 8. Yep. But don't forget, if you're late, um, most of the books will come out of KU by August 20th. 20th. So make sure yes. for the last book, we our live show's on the 24th. Yes. Also, check your library, though, too, because if that actually happens, my library had all the ebooks. So, yeah, mine does too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We'll see you guys in two weeks.